So today we're going to play on the awesome baby lock array. Talk about sewing technology. This machine has it all. And we're going to practice on some funny t-shirts and some pretty serious ones. We're going to explore left chest embroidery. We have a lot to cover today. I'm Kathy. This is Sewing Tech Talk. And I'll see you in a few. So the video, the, the giveaway for this week's video is a great pack of embroidery thread. Every time you like, share, or comment, you're entered for a chance to win. And check back in a few days to see if you want to claim your prize. So today we're going to do something that I thought would be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to be stitching on the beautiful Baby Lock Array, which is a multi needle machine. And I thought it'd be fun to do some dad jokes. You know what dad jokes are. You probably have someone in your family. They don't have to be a dad, but don't they have that pet phrase? They have a special nickname. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff that you might want to put on a shirt for them. Now, I know, I know, you can go out on the interwebs and get practically any shirt that you want to get. But uh, this is kind of a fun way to use your machine, and it's a great way to practice uh, to do some embroidery on knits. Because you might well be doing like a logo on someone's shirt for someone and you don't want to just do that right out of the box. You might want to practice it. Speaking of practice items, I get my practice t-shirts all over the place. You might have some uh, t-shirts in your closet or uh, in your family's closets that have, you know, maybe they've lived a, a good life. Uh, you could always go to a secondhand store, garage sales, all kinds of access for inexpensive shirts. I went out and I got a bunch of inexpensive shirts to practice on because it's just a good idea to have something that you're not concerned about ruining when you're learning a new task. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. I'm going to do some fun t-shirts um, with some dad jokes. I went on the internet and I got a whole bunch of dad jokes. It's just full of them. So we're going to do that. We're going to talk about left chest embroidery as well. So putting something on the left hand side. And mostly we're going to talk about doing a, a shirt on a multi-needle machine and why that machine is kind of special. So let's get started. Now, when you have, when you're doing, if you have a standard, I'm going to call it a flatbed embroidery machine. It has a hoop that looks something like this. It attaches onto the side. The item goes into the hoop and you put it into the machine. Well, what's different about a multi-needle machine is it's a free arm machine. So this machine has a free arm down here. What does that mean? That means I can do some smallish items and I can do some items that would be more more challenging to hoop on a regular standard embroidery machine, a regular machine that looks like a sewing machine. So let me show you some of the differences on the hoops. Here is the standard hoop. There's a very large one. This is about the same size as the one I'm going to be using on the array. Now, if I was going to be embroidering this t-shirt, what I would have to do is I would have to take this shirt. I'm going to put something on the back of this one. I would have to take this shirt to get it into the hoop put it inside out, put my stabilizer on, get it on there, try to get it so that it's arranged, and I'm going to have to puddle the shirt around to actually get it so that I can embroider it, which can be doable, but it's just somewhat of a challenge. Why is a multi-needle hooping a little bit different? Well, the hoop is radically different because it attaches on two sides. So it attaches here and here, and this hoop the bottom attaches and then the top ring goes on. On a multi-needle, it's a little bit different. The bottom ring is the part that captures the item and the top ring is where it attaches to the machine. The why is that cool? Well, you can see that I've have this one hooped and the shirt's going to hang down below, which is the advantage of a multi-needle for sure. Let me show you how this goes on. So here we're going to go. We're going to take this and we're going to put it onto the machine. I'm actually going to put it through the neck opening, which is big enough for this machine to move. So I'm going to put it on, attach it, and hopefully you will see 
how it's much, much, much different than a regular embroidery machine. This is the advantage of a multi-needle machine. It's a free arm machine. So that you can see, everything is down here, nothing's in the way, and it's super easy to embroider. Another difference for a multi-needle machine is it's a multi-needle machine. So on the Baby Lock Array, I have six threads ready to go. So we'll thread it up, we get our design on in there, thread it on up, and it's going to go through the first six colors of the design without even stopping, unless you ask it to. And the hoop is super durable, super thick, so you can get away with a little bit less stabilizer. More on that in a little bit later. So I have everything ready. I have my, my shirt on there. I'm gonna do a big embroidery on the back. I'm gonna say something funny from one of the dad jokes I got off the internet. So let's go to the screen of the machine and see how many fonts are in this machine and how easy it is to input something kind of hysterical. So I, I picked out a joke from one of my many ones that I got off the internet. So let's enter it in the machine and see if it's something that I like to put on the back of my shirt. So let's see. Mm, I know what I'm going to put in. Here we go. So on the array, there is a ton of fonts. This machine is kind of built for doing like in professional embroidery. So you have a lot of choices of different fonts. We come up to about 49. Now some of them are smaller, some of them are different languages, but a ton, a ton of fonts. I'm going to go to just the, the basic ones and I'm going to enter a uh, he who laughs last didn't get it. Okay? Kind of a funny dad joke. So let's see. I'm going to choose, this looks like a good one. So I just enter into the number. I just punch the numbers that I want. So he, he, here's my lowercase. Now I think this is going to be big enough hoop to fit all this. I can change it down the road, but let's see if I can fit all this in there so I make a big statement. He, space, who, space, laughs, last. See if I can fit last in. Whew, just made it. Now I'm going to do the second line by hitting enter and then I can do my second line. Didn't get it. D I D. I need an apostrophe. Space get it. Should I have an exclamation point? Well, sure. There it is. He who last laughs didn't get it. Now that's a pretty big statement. So when I hit set, that's going to come on into the machine and it's been grouped together. If I want to edit anything specifically, I can ungroup it and I can go back in and I can change my text. So when I hit this, I can come in and I can make some arrangements to my text if I want to. Now I put my shirt in the hoop and I entered it with the neckline up. I could have just as easily with this hoop I don't even have to re-hoop. I could have inserted it the other way. If I grouped them again, if I had done that, I would have had to rotate the entire saying. <laughs> but that's not what I did. So I'm going to rotate it on back and it should be good to go for my embroidery. But you know I put another one in and I think I might like that one just a little bit better for this shirt. So I'm going to say okay. I'm going to go edit in. I'm going to put this one in memories so I can come back to it if I want to. But I'm going to pull out the other one that I did before. I put it in the memory of the machine and there it is. I like cooking my friends and my pets use commas, they save lives. So I think I'm going to put that on the back of my little red shirt here. Now, when I hit set, the machine is going to give me all kinds of options for editing. 
I think I'm good. So when I hit edit end, it's going to give me the option for doing placement on the on the t-shirt. Now when you heap, heap, heap your t when you hoop your t-shirt, you're going to kind of want it even, but the array has an amazing feature to let you adjust everything in the machine if you do get it hooped a little bit wrong. We're going to do that when we do our left chest embroidery so that you can see that. I think we're pretty good to go. When I hit embroidery, what's going to happen is the machine is going to remember the colors that I have on my six spool pins, which is pretty cool, right? So all of this is in black. I think that's going to sure show out nicely on my red shirt. But it remembered that I had the back th black thread on the number six spool pin. And I want you to notice that it came up with all the different words all ready to go on that spool pin. So it's going to go automatically from one word to the next and it's going to pull it from that sixth spool pin right over there. Once again, it remembered what I had on there. If it had come up with a different color, if I had changed it, it would tell me what the best spool pin would be for that. We'll take a look at that when we come in and do our left chest embroidery. So I can change the speed. I think I can rock out on this one. I can change the speed. Let's go up. How fast can she go? A thousand stitches a minute, which means I'm going to finish this embroidery pretty darn fast. Remember, it's a big one. So I'm going to do my dad joke t-shirt. Then when we come back, we'll explore a left chest embroidery, which is where you would put a logo if you're going to do one for anybody who wants to show out on their business or anybody something funny. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go lock. Green means go. Ready to go. Thousand stitches a minute. Here we go. So we caught the very end of that embroidery so that you could see it. Now, how did we know to do that? Well, the Baby Lock Array has IQ intuition monitoring. So it tells me the status of the machine and the embroidery and how much time is left on the screen of my phone or my other connected device. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's get to left chest embroidery. But this one did turn out pretty good. We'll put the phone over here. Look how pretty that is. Pretty neat, right? And there's the back of my shirt. Now I'm going to do a left chest embroidery on this one. And I'm going to put something right up in here, which is where you'd be putting a logo. I thought it'd be kind of fun with this saying to maybe put some punctuation marks. So I'm going to do that a little bit. But I'm going to show you on this other shirt because I have it ready to go. And let's see what that looks like. So not every dad t-shirt needs to be a funny dad t-shirt. This is going to be a special t-shirt for the cameraman who served in the 82nd Airborne. So I have the 82nd Airborne All-American embroidery that we're going to put on this one. And we're going to put it on the left chest. Now your handout, what your handout has is it tells you all the different information for doing a left chest embroidery. So it's going to show you where you can measure approximately how big it would be. And most importantly, it has some general guidelines for where you're going to put this depending on the size of the shirt. Now these are guidelines. All shirts are different. So for example, I brought up this shirt and I want to show you some things. I covered the manufacturer's name because I'm not disrespecting any maker of t-shirts. But you know t-shirts are not couture sewing and they come out a little goofy because they're probably made super fast. But at any rate, I want you to notice here's the neckline of this shirt and can you see how the bottom of it's kind of a little off to the left? I made a mark down the center front so that you could see. So basically take your t-shirt, use the measurements as a guideline, but you know, just put it where it looks good and wherever the wearer wants it, that's the most important. So another thing that you can do, this is the size of my embroidery. I brought it up in the machine and I know that's the size of my embroidery. And I cut myself out a little template. And I'm going to put that right about here. Now here's my guidelines for the measurements. What you basically do is you fold the t-shirt in half 
uh, with the right side out. So it's going to be right here, just like this. And then you use just your basic ruler. It's pretty simple. You're going to measure down from the shoulder seam and in from that front center crease. And the measurements, like I said, are right here on your handout. They're just guidelines. So you're going to want to take and measure down from that and over from that. And when you get to where you know the center of the design is going to be, use a removable marker and make yourself a, ch uh, uh, um, um, crosshairs, right? So the crosshairs are going to be just like this. And what's most important is that it's, it's important to have it down here a certain distance, but the most important is that it's even coming across from that center line of the t-shirt. In other words, when you do your embroidery on the t-shirt, you don't want it looking cattywampus and it will look goofy if it's, if it's, if it's unrotated. Now the baby lock array has an excellent system for actually getting, if you hoop it wrong, you get it in right, but Having said that, we want it pretty good from the get-go. Now, another point that's really important when it comes to a multi-needle machine, like I said before, is the ease of embroidery. It's so nice to have a, uh, an embroidery, a t-shirt or something on there that's more difficult to embroider on a flatbed machine. So look at the size of the hoop. The hoop is really beefy. So I find that I'm using a Floriani no-show mesh on the back of this t-shirt. It's a cutaway stabilizer. If you look on the back of any t-shirt, it's going to have a cutaway stabilizer. And I use a fusible because what I do is after I make my mark, I literally just put a pin in the middle. On the underside of the t-shirt, I'm going to press on a, a square of that no-show mesh. Then for hooping, I basically can take my bottom ring of my hoop, get it approximately where I want it to be. I'm going to take my basic top of my hoop, find my outline. There we go. And just press it in and <laughs> I'm hooped. Now, if this was a regular machine, like a regular standard flatbed machine, here's my hoop. I'm going in. I'm getting it crazy. This ring has to go on the inside and I'm trying to find my other area. It's just more challenging to hoop an item like this on a standard machine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disrespecting those machines. They're great, but it's so much easier to do it on a machine pretty much much like this. So I have it hooped up. I'm going to make sure everything's all tight and nice in there. It's really simple. And now I'm going to go to my machine. Now the free arm can go into the neck opening or I could go into this other direction. This hoop frame is kind of multi-directional. I can put it in this way or this way. If I turn it upside down, why would I do that? Well, if I have a really small shirt, say I have a toddler shirt, then I would be going in from the bottom of the shirt because the neck opening is pretty tiny. On an adult, you can go in just the standard way. So let's see. So I have it marked up. I have it ready to go. <laughs> you know, I also am going to do him his emblem on a hat. <laughs> That's another video because the array, it can take there or that too. So let's see. I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to go over to the machine. I'm going to bring up his little, um, his em emblem from when he was in the service. I sent it wirelessly because the baby lock array is a wireless machine and I use baby locks data transfer to send the, <laughs> the design off to the machine. I'm telling you, this is this is sewing technology at its finest. So let's go over to the machine screen. I'm going to bring up that design and we're going to make sure we have the right threads in the place and we're going to stitch out his awesome logo. I'll see you over at the screen in the machine. Let's start our left chest embroidery <laughs> by bringing it in. Now I sent it over, I sent some designs over wirelessly and this machine is a wireless machine. Babylock has a free app that can go on your computer and it's a database transfer. So you can store your designs on your computer, send them off to the machine wirelessly, which is great. Um, so I could send in designs wirelessly. So I sent a bunch, uh, there's the little wings, there's a different airborne patch. He wants the one 
with the wings, so let's see. I think I put that in the memory of the machine. I could also send in designs via direct link with the computer, and that's pretty cool if you're going to use this machine professionally, because uh, you can send in a whole bunch, and it'll monitor your designs one at a time automatically for you. Hey, <laughs> technology wonderful. But I think in the memory of the machine, ah uh, yes, there's the one I brought in for him. It's the airborne patch with the wings. So I'm going to hit set. Now, I put the 4x4 hoop onto the machine with the left chest embroidery already uh, uh, hooped. And so what I need to do now is I need to uh, make sure that I have everything straight. So when I go to edit end, it comes up and I'm going to touch this. Now that is in, built into the array so I can make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. And I can tell it exactly what I want to align to. Remember I drew those crosshairs on on my on the t-shirt so yeah I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to hit next and it's going to go to the center of it's going to show me where that center is it's going to go to the center when I hit next what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it so that crosshair is right dead on to the center of that crosshair that I drew on there pretty cool so when I go next I can choose which direction I'm going to align that up with I can have it be this one right over here or oh, you know what I think I might want to move it to the bottom one that line is better so I can go previous previous and I can say no no I want to line it up to the one at the bottom see you can do it on the fly and you can check all four points to make sure you're absolutely dead on so I'm going to go next and so yes that's still good let's move it up just perfect next and I'm going to move that point on the bottom there we go Perfect. Set. And now I know it's perfectly aligned and the machine automatically rotated it for me so it's going to stitch out just perfectly. When I go to embroidery, now the machine remembers. I've already done one of these patches before. Like I said, the machine remembers what colors that you've already used and it's going to tell me that the white is on the needle knot one, red is on two, blue is on three, and silver for the wings, it's on four. And it's going to pull those threads exactly when it needs them to, to embroider. If I needed to have changed threads, it would have come up and told me exactly what thread needs to go on what needle. That's pretty easy to do, but I'm ready to go. The machine is going to take 12 minutes to stitch out this cool little design. And, uh, you know, I'm going to know when to come back because I'm going to use my monitoring app because it's going to take care of all the details for me. And I'm just going to look and see when I need to come back. So everything's good to go. Perfectly placed. Make sure everything's good. Thousand stitches a minute. <laughs> I'll see you in about 12 minutes. <laughs> so I'm embroidering right now. Can you tell how stressed I am? <laughs> so the monitoring app is pretty awesome. It shows you exactly where the needle is. I love the little needle going up and down in the upper left to show you that it's embroidering. It tells me I have just a few minutes left, maybe a couple. Tells me how much time is left. Tell me what color I'm on. Tells me how many stitches. And if I was going to look for thread, then I could have come up with a thread color chart as well, which is pretty cool. There's my colors that I needed. And as soon as the embroidery is finished, it's going to let me know I need to get back in there and start my next one. So if you are into multitasking, <laughs> the IQ Intuition Monitoring app is pretty cool. You know, I love embroidery. It's so stressful. <laughs> anyway, I have a minute left. I probably should get back in there. I'll see you back in. I'm about 70 stitches from being done. <laughs> so my phone sent me in, and it turned out pretty great. Pretty sweet. I think the cameraman is pretty lucky, and I'm pretty lucky to have the cameraman too pretty neat. Now he needs this on a hat too. But that's another video. <laughs> oh and don't forget this one's in the um, <laughs> handout as well. It's called scratch my back t-shirt. You want to see the back? You tell them what number and it gives you the exact spot <laughs> where they need to scratch. Now I think that 
is a dad joke t-shirt. I'm going to send it off to George. Now, don't forget, let me see. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I know. Life is short. If you can't laugh at yourself, call me and I will. <laughs> Take it away, George. Thanks, Kathy. That was an incredible presentation. The Baby Lock Array offers the right combination of performance and technology. Now, because it has that open arm, you can embroider almost anything from bags to hats to backpacks to sleeves, all kinds of items that you can't embroider on a flatbed machine. But it also has uh, such technology, including the ability to size your designs up to 200% or decrease them 70% and maintaining the same quality. Now it has six needles that interchange very, very quickly and it goes up to high speeds over a thousand stitches per minute. It's large, a nearly eight by 12 inch embroidery hoop gives you beautiful embroidery of all types, as well as you can even send designs via Wi-Fi to the machine. You have uh, 50 built-in fonts with the ability to arc and array and customize, plus some very, very large monograms that are so beautiful. My favorite feature is that crosshair laser. I can simply draw a line or a crosshair on my, my uh, garment and mark two points and it automatically aligns it so that I have perfect embroidery every single time. Now we have an incredible opportunity on this machine. The Baby Luck Array has a regular retail price of $14,999, but right now it is on sale for $11,999. We're offering interest-free payments of only $199.98 a month. That makes this very affordable. We're also including free shipping across the country. But right now also, as a special offer, we're including a bonus. This bonus includes nine rolls of stabilizer, 10 5,000 meter spools of Floriani thread, 63 spools in virtually the rainbow colors. I have a box of bobbins, 10 packages of embroidery needles, plus two exclusive collections from Anita Good Design that has over 650 embroidery files and a membership to love and knowledge where you can learn everything about the Baby Lock Array. This bonus has a value over $2,000 and it's included free with the purchase of the array while we have this in stock. Now, I mentioned that we have interest-free payments of $199.98 a month. If you're not wanting to finance this, I have even a better offer for you uh, where we have even more bonus for you. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or click on the link to order this machine. Bye for now.